Hey guys, Rose from Echo here. Today we're going to walk through how to set up arc marking in both MC Edit and on a T2 controller. We'll start in MC Edit, then we'll go ahead and hop over to a T2. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to add our text to the text box. Next, we'll specify the height that we want our text to be. For this example, we'll say we want our text to be two millimeters tall. Next, we'll select whether we want our text to be convex or concave. If you choose convex, your text will be readable from the inside of the, the diameter. And if you choose concave, it will be readable from the outside. The default is convex, but I typically like to specify this either way. Uh, so we'll choose convex. Uh, from there, we'll specify the diameter. And this is going to vary depending on whether you choose convex or concave. The most important thing to remember is that your reference point is going to be the bottom left hand corner of your first character. Uh, so one thing I like to do is move my object into kind of the center of the marking field just to make sure I stay within my limits while I'm working. Uh, and then you can adjust your final positioning later. Okay, so we'll say we have an 18 millimeter diameter part. And now you can see our text is arced. If you want to see what concave looks like, you can see it reverses the direction of the text. Okay. Uh, so next we'll want to work on the positioning. There's two ways you can do this. Uh, so you can either specify the starting location for your string or you can adjust the justification. Uh, so we'll start with the angle. Uh, the angle that you specify is going to be based on a counterclockwise rotation. So we'll run through a few different angles here so you can see the difference. And again, this is where that first character, the bottom left hand corner is going to start. So next we'll show you the center justification. Uh, so if you're looking for your text to just be right in the center, you can just adjust this from uh, left is the default, but you can change that to centered and you'll see it moves everything right to the middle. Uh, one thing about this, if you do use this, you will lose the ability to adjust your X coordinates. Your text will always be centered in the marking window. Uh, the other thing with this is if you want to adjust your angle for that, you can only do 90 degrees and 270. So set that back to zero. Uh, one other thing I'll show you. So if you run into an issue where your text is running together, you can either change the height of your text, which we're already pretty small, uh, so I'm going to leave that at two millimeters. Um, but what you can do is you can adjust your spacing. So the default is 25%. You can adjust this up to 200. So if we increase this, you'll see our characters get spread out. All right. So I think that about covers everything for MC Edit. So we'll go ahead and hop over to a T2 controller. Now we're going to walk through the same steps to set up arc marking on the T2 controller. So first I'll enter my information. And then specify the height. So if you select F4, the height will be at the first column. So we'll set this to two millimeters. And you can either type this in or you can use your rotary knob to adjust that and then push when you're finished. Hit escape. And as you're making these changes, if you want to see what it looks like so far, you can hit the test button and it'll give you a preview and your marking head will actually do a dry run of the mark. All right, so next we'll go ahead and specify whether we want convex or concave. If you choose F6, it'll be this column here. 
So if the if it's pointing upward, that means you're convex. And if you change that to downward, that means you're concave. And again, so convex means that your text will be readable from the inside of the diameter, and concave means it'll be readable from the outside. Okay. Uh, next, we'll specify the diameter. So you just move one column to the left, and we'll go ahead and type in 18 millimeters. Again, this diameter is going to change depending on whether you have convex or concave. Uh, the most important thing to remember is your reference point being the lower left-hand corner of your first character. Okay, so we'll do a preview. And you can see our text is now arced. Uh, so next we'll work on the positioning. Uh, so if you go into F6, the third column over is where you can adjust your angle. Um, now you more than likely will have to adjust your X and Y coordinates. If you're outside of the marking window, you will get an error. So you can adjust that, hit the test, and you'll see we're out of our marking limits. So we'll just bring this in a little bit. have arced text within our field uh, and you can continue to adjust those angles and test as you go. Uh, if you would prefer to use the justification as opposed to uh, setting a starting location, the column to the far right. So right now we're set to left justification. If we change that to center justified, and run the test, you'll see our text will be centered in the field. Okay. So the last thing we'll cover is the spacing. If you run into an issue where your characters are overlapping or if you just want them to be more spread out, you can adjust the spacing of your characters. So you select F4 and it's going to be this column. So the default is 25%. You can adjust this up to 200. that. And that covers arc marking in MC Edit and on our T2 controller. If you have questions or if you'd like additional help, feel free to give us a call.